Thanks Ray Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. I'm pretty sure you recognize this. It is the traditional bourbon that we find in every single mall in the United States. And even though it's a classic, it is also very good. That's why I cannot wait to show you my take on it. At the same time, this one will be the sous vide version. And I cannot wait to find out how this one is gonna turn out. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They already come 100% ready and makes everything so easy. However, at the same time, if you choose to use chicken breast, this recipe will work just fine. But if you ask me which one is better, I say go with the thighs. That's because it has a lot more flavor. Preparing this the traditional version is quite simple. The first thing we need to do is to cut it in small pieces. It doesn't really matter what size you cut, just make sure every single one is the exact same size. I went for no longer than an inch pieces. And if you find any external fat like this, I just say remove it. Unlike beef, chicken fat is not that good, so those have to go. Once I was done with the cutting, the most important thing to me was to make sure that every single one was the same size. And that's for good reason, because it ensures they will all cook evenly. And here is all the external fat. Make sure you take that out. Now the next thing to do is to go ahead and season them. For that, I started with salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, followed by onion powder. You are not gonna make any good mall food without the good old MSG. This thing makes everything everything tastes better. The only thing I recommend is to make sure that you do not use too much. Just sprinkle a little bit on top of it and it will do magic to any meat. As you can see, once I was done, the most important thing is to make sure every single piece is perfectly coated. The next step is to go ahead and add a little bit of cornstarch. The best way I found to do this is to use a Ziploc bag. You can also season directly inside of the bag as well. But since I'm making a video for you guys to see, it's a lot better this way. The cornstarch is important because it will give you a nice crispy edge. Just make sure you sprinkle a good amount, close up the bag and shake it like there's no tomorrow. This will ensure that every single edge is perfectly coated with the cornstarch. As you can see, once I was done, this is what it looks like. Come on, it's chicken. What did you expect? It's not gonna look appetizing. However, once it's cooked, it will. That is exactly the next thing to do. And my favorite cookware for this is a cast iron skillet. I threw in a little bit of canola oil and dumped in my chicken. I wanna basically stir fry it. The most important thing I'm looking for is to get a nice color. At the same time, trying to avoid burning the chicken and also overcooking it. I like to keep my heat pretty high. This way, you will ensure that we get a nice crust. You don't wanna cook your chicken chicken all the way through because we're gonna still make a sauce and finish it off there. As you can see, once I was done, I got a nice crispy edge. That was exactly what I was looking for. The next thing to do is to go ahead and prepare our sauce. Using the same pan, I threw in a good amount of garlic. Kept it under low heat and cooked it for about a minute. This is not gonna be bourbon chicken without bourbon. So to deglaze the pan, I threw in a good amount of Maker's Mark. You wanna make sure you cook off most of the alcohol because once that's done, throw in a good amount of apple juice and mix it well. As always, remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. Then once it started simmering, I threw in a good amount of chicken stock, followed by soy sauce, ketchup, brown sugar, and apple cider vinegar. Grab your whisk, mix everything well, and make sure everything is incorporated. Once it starts simmering, it's time to throw in our chicken. Now the only thing left to do is to mix it well and let that sauce reduce. As it's doing so, the sauce will start thickening up on you real quick. If you want your sauce thick, just let it reduce. As you can see, it takes no time at all. At the same time, this is fully cooking the chicken. That's why previously it was important just to put a nice sear. The last thing we want is to overcook our chicken. But once I was happy with the consistency of my sauce, my bourbon style chicken is done. For some garnishing and color, I just like to sprinkle a little bit of chives. I mean, take a look at this. Sometimes I miss this kind of food. That brings back so many memories from the ball. I'm telling you, even though it's simple to make, it is delicious. But now that we are done with this version, it's time to jump into the sous vide one. And I'm hoping that it's gonna be a lot better. And of course, everything starts off with the chicken. For this one, instead of being boneless, it is bone in. And you guessed it, I do like to use use chicken thighs. However, as I previously mentioned, chicken breast will work just fine. And the first thing we gotta do is to season them. For that, I did the same exact thing as the traditional one. A little bit of salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. At least up to this step, the sous vide version is a lot faster because we don't have to chop it up. And as you can see, I made sure that every single edge of this chicken was perfectly seasoned. Now the only thing left to do is to bag it up, vacuum seal it, and get it ready for the water bath. That is perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make the sauce. And this one is gonna be different than the previous one. As always, 
always remember exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. Into a saucepan I threw in a good amount of barbecue sauce, followed by yellow mustard, sriracha hot sauce, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, low sodium soy sauce, ketchup, garlic powder and of course brown sugar. Keeping it under low heat I mixed everything well. Using a whisk makes the job a lot easier. As it starts simmering it's time to throw in our bourbon. And of course do not forget to burn off the alcohol. If not it's just not gonna be as good. Now the only thing left to do is to mix it well to make sure everything is combined because by that time your sauce is done. That is as easy as it gets. This sauce takes no time at all and it is delicious. And I can't wait to find out how it's gonna taste with our chicken. Talking about that I'll be cooking them at 167 degrees Fahrenheit for 2 hours. And I cannot wait to find out which bourbon chicken is best. There's a good reason why this chicken is so popular in every single food court in the mall in the United States. It is delicious. The traditional version tastes so good everybody. It is absolutely incredible. Kind of a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory. If you never had this, do yourself a favor and go make some right now. But first, let me show you the sous vide version to see if it's going to be as good as the traditional one. It is ready, we are hungry and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. Just like as expected, sous vide never disappoints to give you a very ugly piece of meat as soon as you take it out of the bag, everybody. It is horrendous. I 100% agree with you. It doesn't look appetizing, but I'll tell you one thing. The smell that comes out of this thing is amazing. That is a sign already that is going to be something incredible. At the same time, we have to put a char on it. If you're not, it's not going to be as good. And for that, today I am going to be using the grill because we all know that little charcoaly flavor, the little char on a bourbon chicken is incredible. And that is what I'm expecting at least. So now I say, I know my chickens don't look that good right now, but watch this. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. So what do you do when your steak is getting ready? Well, of course, you gotta raid. Raid has a global PvP, massive PvE boss battles, and more than 600 champions. Use the link below to download Raid yourself to your mobile device or PC. And today I got a boss spotlight for you, it's the Guardian of the Void Keep, Malik Kavar. This guy was a priest of the light, but then he thought light wasn't much of anything without darkness. So his fellow priest kicked him to the curb, and he went off to master the magic of the void. The main trick to fighting Malik is to deal with all the poison he puts out. I mean the graphics in Raid is phenomenal. I feel like I'm right inside the game fighting beside Saito. Power up buddy, you coming to the dungeon with me. And there's a lot happening with Raid this month, like everyday special events plus a bunch of new champions. The biggest update this month is the Guardian Ring, a feature that gives you new ways to use your champions, including a whole faction guardian system, a new way to get legendary champion you missed out on, and of course new ways to upgrade your favorite champions. So go hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and you're gonna get an epic champion Chinuro, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 action shard so that you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Available only for the next 30 days and only for new players. Just click the link on the description and I'll see you in the game. Thank you Ray Channel Legends for sponsoring this video but now let's get right back to it. Alright everybody here we have our beautiful chicken today Angel. Are you excited for chicken? Eh. <laughs> I like your honesty. <laughs> this might remind you of something. Chinese food? Yeah, ex exactly. Yes, 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 yes. Chinese food. Okay, so we have two kinds. This one is done more the traditional version, and then this one here is the sous vide version. And we're going to find out which one is best. We're going to let them know. Sounds like a plan? Okay. Okay, enough talking. I want to try this. You ready? Cheers. Tell me if it reminds you of anything. Cheers, everybody. Oh, okay, I see. So many memories. What does it remind you of? Cajun girl. <laughs> From where? The mall. <laughs> From the mall. Exactly. It is exactly like the mall. <laughs> Isn't it? Tastes I, like mall food. <laughs> the, mall, the mall that we go to, it has the uh, Cajun girl. And mm -hmm. there they have a bourbon chicken. It tastes almost the same. Absolutely incredible. I'm ready for the second one. You ready, Angel? Let's I do. see you go for the most char one. Huh? 
I like it. I know I like it. I'm I, impressed. Why I'm, are you attacking me like this? <laughs> Man, it's tender, ooh. Right away, as soon as you poke your fork on it, it just falls apart. It is way more tender. Oh, you're going for a big bite. Oh, yeah. Second one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Sous vide. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Which one is better, Angel? It is more tender, and at the same time, that little charcoaly flavor, mm -hmm. and those little burn bits. You know those little burn bits whenever you put them on chicken? It's just sick. It's yeah, awesome. It's so much better, because it also has the, the crunch. You need to have a little bit of crunch. A little bit of crunch and softness at the same time. No, the inside is it's it's like it's like you did like how we like steak. You <laughs> like a little crust. You gave the yep. chicken a little crust. <laughs> I like that it has a little bit of a spice. Yes, it has a little bit of sriracha. The original one didn't have it. It's more crunchy on the outside. Right. It has a little bit of the charcoal flavor, which I am addicted. <laughs> so it's like it's perfect. It is. I agree. 100%. This might be my favorite chicken. No way, really. Wow, we might be converting Angel from steak to chicken. I'm both. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Guys, try this one, man. This one, you guys got to give it a try. Yeah, so this is better. It's pretty good. <laughs> not going to lie. It is good. <laughs> you see you guys, guys gotta... on the next one. Take care, everybody.